We are continuing our Bible study from the book of Galatians and today we will be focusing on Galatians chapter 1 verse 6. I am amazed that you are so quickly deserting him who called you by the grace of Christ, for a different gospel, Galatians 1 verse 6. Paul does not pull his punches when he challenges the Galatian believers on their readiness to depart from the unchangeable, truth of God's word to a false gospel. He marveled at the rapidity with which they turned from the glorious gospel of God's grace by faith alone in Christ's finished work at Calvary, to a different gospel, which was not an optional alternative, but a totally false gospel. This was a departure from the truth, which was leading them back into bondage. I am amazed, he admonishes them, I am amazed that you are so quickly deserting him who called you by the grace of Christ to a different gospel. These were not worldly, carnal Christians, who were being enticed back to the self-indulgent, fleeting pleasures and fleshly lusts that the world has to offer. They were highly religious people, who were in the process of surrendering the liberty they had freely received at salvation, by faith in Christ's once-for-all offering of Himself to a self-inflicted bondage to sin and enslavement to the law. They taught that we were saved by faith plus keeping the law, and they further taught that we would only remain saved by faith plus keeping the law, which ties heavy burdens on men's shoulders and which are impossible for fallen man to bear, for the righteous requirement of the law can never be kept by sinful man. It is given freely by faith in the finished work of Christ, who bore our sin alone, carries our burden freely and keeps calling us to, Come unto me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. The Gospel of Christ centers on the person and work of the incarnate Word of God our Saviour Jesus Christ, who gave Himself willingly to die on the cross in our place. The death He died was accepted by the Father as full payment for our sins, payment for all our sins and payment for every sin, so that whoever believes on Him, would not perish but have everlasting life. And we are to live by faith alone in Christ alone as well. At the point of our salvation we were made a new creation in Christ. We were given a new life in Christ. We were clothed in His righteousness and positioned in Him. When Christ died on the cross, all who would believe in Him, by grace through faith, also died to the power of the law. You see, just as Christ identified with our sin and took all our sin upon Himself in our place so we are identified with Christ and as a result have been clothed in His righteousness by God's amazing grace. Before the death, burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ we were all condemned under the law, but in Him we have died to the law, by grace through faith in Him. Paul's condemnation of the legalizers in Galatia was a very stern warning to which we too should all pay careful heed, for if adherence to Jewish laws or any other form of Eastern, Western or denominational legalism is an additional requirement for justification, sanctification or glorification, it renders the cross superfluous. If keeping the law could make us right with God, then there was no need for the Lord Jesus Christ to die at Calvary. May we never frustrate the grace of God by seeking to impose on ourselves or others an impossible, legalistic burden, knowing that Christ, our Passover Lamb, has been sacrificed for us, once and for all, by grace alone through faith in Him alone. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank You that my salvation does not depend on what I do but on what Christ did for me on the cross. May I continue to live my Christian life by faith and not by works of the law and help me not to add additional legalistic requirements to my Christian life, knowing that it is not works of the flesh that can keep me saved but it is all by God's grace through faith in Jesus Christ. To Him be all praise and glory, Amen.